Hey guys, it's the Econ Bull here, and today I'm gonna show you how to make TikTok ads, but I'm not just going to show you how to make them. We're gonna put real money behind it, and we're gonna track it for one week. Will it be massively profitable or a complete fail? We'll see, we'll take a look at the metrics, we'll take a look at the engagement, at the clicks, and we're gonna see how it performs, and then we're gonna try to improve it. So let's get started in three, two, one, yeah! Let's get started. The first thing that you will need is a TikTok Ads Manager account. It is very simple to get one and very straightforward and I will briefly go over it. But if you already have one, you can skip to this timestamp right here and then follow along with the next content, which will actually be creating one campaign with three ad groups inside and three ads inside each one of those ad groups. We're gonna use a strategy where we will target three different interests and see which one performs the best. After one week, we will see the results and then we will try to improve those results. We are going to use a real ad account. We're gonna use a real company and a real product. So you can see the actual results in real life. So let's get started with the first step, account creation. All right, so to create the account, we're gonna go to ads.tiktok.com slash i18n slash sign up. And here you have two options. You can either sign up with an email or with a phone. In this case, I'm gonna go with an email. Choose the password and click on send code. And then you're gonna accept the agreements and sign up. The next step will be to add the details. We're gonna choose the country, select the industry. Let's do clothing and shoes, business name, add your phone number and register and now your ads manager account is set up you can add a few more details select the billing address and you have two options and this is new before you could only do manual payments but now you can have automatic payments every time your balance is getting low tiktok will automatically charge your credit card the other option is manual payment which is what i have right now because i like to control the budgets a little bit further and every time I am going to do a new campaign, I just put some budget in there, analyze it. And when it's about to run out of budget, it will send me some alerts. And that makes me go and check the campaigns and see if they are performing good. You know, it's just kind of like, it forces you to log in and check before you can add more, uh, more money. And that's about it. Now we can actually start creating the campaigns. Oh, something very important. You need to add the pixel to your website, okay? This is what will send information to TikTok so they can track the visitors on your website and determine if they converted or if they left the page, how many pages they view. So it's very important. Uh, with Shopify, it's super simple. You have to add it as a sales channel. Once you add TikTok as a sales channel in Shopify, then you just have to link your TikTok Ads Manager account and then you will have access you know, to all the features. You can list your products there and you can even create ads within Shopify for TikTok. But you have a little bit more control if you do it on the Ads Manager platform. The dashboard is the first page that you will see when you're looking to the Ads Manager. I want you to see real numbers and this is an active Ads Manager account that I use for testing. Here you can see the daily spends, you can see how many campaigns you have, how many ad groups, and how many ads. These are the ones that are active, and you can also see all the others here. You will find interesting data, like the costs. Here's how much I have spent in these past seven days. You can see the cost per thousand impressions, the cost per click, how many conversions you got, you can see the number of impressions, and the CVR. The CVR is basically from the from the clicks in this case we receive 533 clicks what's the percentage of the people that clicked that actually got converted the way i have conversion set up in this account is a complete purchase meaning that the customer went to checkout completed the checkout and went to the thank you page when the customer is on the thank you page the pixel will send a notification to tiktok saying hey this guy that clicked on this ad went to this website so this many pages and then completed the checkout and by arriving on the thank you page 
that confirms that the payment was successful. So count that as a conversion. You can also see it as a graphic. For example, this day I spent $30 and received zero conversions, not good. The next day I spent $50 and received zero conversions, that's horrible. Then the next day I spent $50, received one conversion. The next day, one conversion, $50. The next day, two conversions, $50, and so on. So this gives you like a very fast way of knowing, hey, where is my budget going? How am I converting? Another valuable data point that I use is the cost per acquisition. And this is the cost to acquire one conversion. And we already know from the way I have this set up that one conversion is when the customer actually paid for the product. There are other conversion events that you can have. You can have, for example, uh, complete a lead form or visited a specific page. You know, those are all conversion events. But since this is an e-commerce company, I want to measure the actual purchases. And I like to see the cost per acquisition because I like to see how much it's costing me to acquire a new customer. We also have some analytics here. For example, how much budget we have spent on males versus females, the click-through rate. And right now, females are engaging a little bit better with the ads. They are clicking more at least. And all this information is very useful because then you can micro-target specific groups of people that you know that they convert better and that every dollar that you spend is going to have a higher impact on them. You also have some more analytics here, um, operating system, uh, very useful if you have, for example, an app that you're trying to advertise and it only works on, let's say, iPhone, you know, you, can, you only want to advertise to iPhone users, probably. And uh, if you see that some of the ads are going to Android, then you probably have something wrong when you set up the, the ad sets when creating the account, the campaign. And that's basically it. Now we're ready to start with creating the campaign. Finally, right? All right. So we're going to click on campaign up here and we're going to click on create. The first thing that you have to do when you create a new campaign is choose the advertising objective. In this case, for this video, we're going to do a conversions campaign. And this is going to tell the system to find you the people that are more likely to convert, to take action, to buy. You also have options, for example, for traffic or reach. And these ones have a very low CPM. So the cost per thousand impressions tends to be lower than conversions by a lot. You know, but the people you know that it finds is just people that like to click and like to browse and maybe it's good, you know, very good for spreading the word, uh, getting a, a little bit of um, knowledge about your products or services out there. But we want to measure profits, you know, and investment. We want to see the ROI. So we're going to focus on conversions here. All right. So for the campaign name, just put something that is representative for you. All right, conversion triple interest strategy, because that's the strategy that we're going to use. Create split test. We're not going to create a split test through this, but we're actually going to be split testing the campaign with three different ad sets. However, this will only allow us to do it with two ad sets, so no point. For the budget, I like to put no limit because we're actually going to specify the limits in the ad loops. So on a lower level, click continue. And now we're going to create the ad group. And this is where the strategy starts. And I'm going to explain it briefly. TikTok is not like Facebook. On Facebook, you have super micro granular targeting. You can target a teacher that follows this page and also that is going to have a baby in three months, right? With TikTok, you don't have that kind of detail level targeting. But what you have is a lower cost per thousand impressions, right? And also the customers of TikTok, you know, the users are very engaging. And sometimes you can receive more conversions, you know, even though it's not super micro adjusted for what you want. The options that we have for targeting are interests. You have video interactions and creator interactions. And we're going to create an ad group for each one of them separately because 
we are testing. We don't know which one is going to convert better. So let's scroll up and start filling information. The name, interest targeting. The promotion type, we're gonna choose website. We're going to use the TikTok pixel to track your website. Very important if you want to measure the conversions. For the optimization event, in this case, we're gonna choose complete payment, but it depends because maybe you are offering a service that people need to sign up or something or register, you know, so you have different kinds of optimization events. But for our case, this is an e-commerce store that we're gonna be selling a physical product. We want to have complete payment. For placement, I will never suggest you to do automatic placement. I will always go with selected placement and uncheck these two. These are other uh, properties of TikTok, right? But of ByteDance, uh, but you know, this is just gonna split your budget, you know, send a little bit of budget to these other platforms that in my experience, they are not converting well at all. Then I also like to leave user comments on. I like to see the engagement and I'm actually going to show you a trick later on once we review the campaigns after one week and of how you can actually see the comments and respond to the comments. Video download, that's up to you. Just tells the TikTok that the users can download the video if they want. Maybe they share it on another platform. If it's something that can be shareable, hey, that's good, you know? It's more views for free. For the creative type, you can choose automatic creative optimization, but I'm not going to do it on this campaign because I already have some videos that I want to advertise and I don't want TikTok, you know, changing any of it. Here you can include some audiences that you have created. I could create, for example, a lookalike audience of a custom audience that I have. For example, website visitors in the past 30 days and I create a lookalike, TikTok will basically go and look for, let's say 1% of the population. You can specify how big you want the lookalike to be, but let's say that I choose 1% of the population, say it's, I don't know, uh, 30 million people, right? And it's gonna be the closest people to the website visitors in the past 30 days. You know, so from all the data points that TikTok has, it will find, you know, people that have data points similar to those. You know, you can also target, you know, for example, this one here, I have a lookalike of people that view 100% of the video ad, right? So from all the people that watch the ad completely, I told TikTok, hey, look for more people that have similar characteristics as these people. In this case, we're not gonna go really simple, so we're not going to include any audiences. You can also exclude audiences, by the way. For example, you can exclude people that purchased in the previous 30 days because you know you, they already purchased, you don't want to uh, keep showing ads and spending money on those people because you know that they, probably they don't need a refill until 90 days. For location, we're going to choose United States and this will target everybody in United States, right? You can also choose states or zip codes, but for this case, we want to target everybody in the USA. The gender we're testing, so I don't care if it's male or female, I want to see who converts better, you know? So I'm gonna put no limit. The age, however, you know, people that convert the most for this kind of product that we're going to advertise, and I'm gonna show you the product, by the way, I, I, I haven't shown you the product or the company, but it, I was waiting for the creation of the ads to show you what's actually selling. Um, so, well, for the age of 18 to 45 is good, but it's people normally convert better from 25 to 44 in this type of product. But I'm still gonna choose, you know, 18 to 54, just because I wanna see, and then when I look at the metrics, I'll decide, okay, so it's actually converting better the people between 35 and 44, so I'm gonna focus uh, another campaign and put more budget on this specific range. The languages, no limit. You can specify uh, Spanish, English, but uh, for this case, you know, this product, everybody gets it. Interest and behavior. All right, I'm, I'm going to show you the product because if not, it will be easier to follow. All right, so this is the company. 
this is a fitness brand and the product that we will be advertising is the sweat activated shares and it's basically a share that is blank but once you sweat a motivational message reveals so it's a pretty cool product and i think it will do really good on tiktok so now we are back to the ad group creation and we're ready to to choose an interest um i can already tell you that there's no active wear category here okay so the interests are super broad and they are missing a lot and they are continually adding more but right now they don't have anything you know even close to that for example if we go to apparel and accessories clothing accessories no look at the options hats scarves gloves belts glasses ties face masks what is the active wear you know there's no so we're not even gonna choose that no we're gonna go here to sports and outdoors and then choose outdoors equipment and sport equipment well yeah people that are interested in outdoor equipment are probably working out right so maybe they are interested in the products and also sports equipment yeah sure so we're not gonna choose any behavior not at all we will choose this on the other ad groups that's part of the strategy for the device no limit i don't care you have here the daily budget the minimum that you can put is 20 dollars but i'm gonna put 30 and there's actually a trick if you want to spend less than 20 dollars if you go here to the strategy and you choose cost cap you can say for example that you want each conversion you want it to cost i don't know five dollars right and you know maybe the first day you spend the 20 dollars but then the next days tiktok is going to start lowering the amount of money you spend to try to reach you know to that you know cost per conversion and if it can't achieve it then it will basically just not waste any of your budget it's not going to invest any of your budget so let's go back here we're on the schedule i want it to run continuously we're going to actually choose lowest cost and we're gonna click on next all right so now let's create the ads i have three videos where so we're gonna create three different ads hard work demonstration okay and this is something super cool uh, maybe you don't have access to this feature yet but it will be rolled out within the next few weeks and um, i am part of the tiktok testers group so i have access to this stuff a little bit in advance but now you can choose a TikTok ad account. Before you could only, you know, just put your name there, right? And it will appear in the ad. But right now you can actually put your organic TikTok ad account behind the ads. So people can actually click on the ads and actually see your page, your profile. So that's something that it was highly needed. I requested it so many times. That's probably why they gave me early access to it. But, you know, it's something that is gonna change the game with advertising because before, when people see the ad and if they save it they will have it saved but if they don't save it you know they won't be able to follow your page or anything but well it's good that we have it now so we're gonna use our organic tiktok ad account we're gonna link the account All right so now the organic tiktok account is linked with the tiktok ads account now let's upload the creative and here we're gonna choose a tiktok post that we have this is our organic account Let's choose this one. Uh -huh, I'm just checking. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's choose that one. Confirm. And since, since it's already uh, an ad, the, well, not an ad, it's, it's already a video that you have on your page, you cannot change the text. All right. But you can, however, change the call to action. And I recommend like TikTok also recommends to use shop now if you're trying to sell something, if you want people to shop. If you want people to read an article or, or you know, get more information, then sure, use learn more, you know, or if they, you want them to, to fill a form, you know, you can put apply now. But we want to sell the product, so we're going to put shop now. Then the URL, we're gonna paste it here. Here, if you want your ad, let's say that it's amazing, right? And it gets a lot of conversions and everything. TikTok would like to feature your ad so other people can get inspiration from it. And well, I mean, you don't want people to copy you, but at the same time, 
maybe those people that are seeing, you know, the inspirational video that you make, maybe they will actually be clients. So, you know, it's free views, also a little bit of risk, but hey, it's okay. Here you can put, you know, tracking URLs, if you are using some tracking software, if you are using, for example, Google Analytics, um, but I'm not going to put anything now because already TikTok gives me enough analytics to, you know, to decide what's working and what's not. So we're going to click on submit. Congratulations, your ad has been created. But we are not done. Oh no, not at all. All right, so we're going to head back to campaigns. We're going to open the campaign that we just created. We're going to open the ad group. And then we're going to open the ads, right? And here we're going to click on create. Our next ad will be go home video. In this case, we're not going to use a TikTok account. We're actually going to do it the old way. So we're going to put the name of the company. We're going to choose an image, an image to represent our ad. We're going to choose single video, the only option. We're going to upload it from our computer. We're going to click upload. And here we can actually select the test that we put. Since it's not an already existing organic post, we just made it from scratch. Here's the video. People don't believe this, but this is a plain shirt that has an invisible motivational message. It only shows when you work out hard and sweat. You can't go home until you sweat it all. Alright, let's put something tacky like this. Free shipping, get motivated. I can't think of anything better right now. Shop now and then the link to the website. There it is. And click on submit. All right, so we have now two ads and I'm still going to do one more, but I'm just going to fast forward this part. Okay, so I finished creating the last ad and now if we go to campaign, we can see the one that we just created and then we can see the ad group inside and inside of this ad group will be the ads, the three ads that we created. By the way, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I repeat the words a lot because my English is not very good. Uh, I'm, I'm trying really hard here. Hey, give me a like, right? It's my first video. Hopefully, you know, I can get one or two likes from, hopefully I can get one or two views actually. <laughs> but anyways, um, we're going to duplicate this ad group because we want the same three ads to be on all of the ad groups. We just want to change the interest targeting. Okay. So let's click on copy. We're going to create two copies. We're going to put them on the existing campaign. And now it's going to show us the settings that we had already selected. And we're going to scroll down all the way to the interest and behaviors. We're going to delete the interest that we had selected. And we're going to add a behavior, video interactions. Here we're going to choose, check this out, sports and outdoors. Now they have one that's fitness and health. No, so this will target people that have watched videos that are about fitness and health. All right. And we want people that share the video, also commented the video and liked the video. I don't choose watch to end because, um, you know, sometimes, you know, you just watch the video till the end, but that doesn't mean that you're really interested. I want people that are, uh, you know, involved and engaged with videos of this kind. We're going to choose the, the period of those actions to have been taken place. We're going to do 15 days and we are going to select a budget of $30 per day for this ad group. Also click on next automatically. It populates the three ads because we're just copying the ad group with the ads inside. We're only changing, you know, the targeting. Everything looks good. Submit. Click OK. And here, this is one of the ones that we duplicated and changed. So the name will be Behavior Video Views. And this one, we haven't changed the targeting yet, but I'm already going to change the name. We're going to put Creator in 
interactions. Okay, and now we're going to edit this. It's the, because when we created the copy of this ad group, you know, it created two and then we changed one and it just saved both of them with the same targeting. Uh, so now we have to change the targeting on the last one. Here, let's scroll down. The ad behaviors, we're gonna delete it. And now we're going to do video interactions. So here we're going to choose, let's see what it gives us. Fitness and health, fitness and health. That's good enough, all right? And we want people that follow people that actually, you know, are into fitness and health. Well, well, well. So the campaign has been created. We have the ad groups and we have the ads. Now we just have to wait for them to get approved, which will be probably in the next 15 minutes, and then they will start running. And I'm super excited because we're gonna wait one week and see which one performed the best. See you in one week.